Hello and welcome to the St. John Fine Arts School Grade 6 MathCast with Mr. Burko. This is representing improper fractions as mixed numbers and it's from Chapter 7, Lesson 3, lesson three in your Nelson Math Focus. Our goal today is to relate improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now mixed numbers is a new term that you're going to learn to use now in the future. We've been preparing you for mixed numbers by teaching you about improper fractions. Now a mixed number is an improper fraction that's been converted to whole numbers with fractions attached to it. So it's a fraction but has whole numbers as well. And uh, like I said, you've been prepared for this so that's the reason why we've been doing the last two lessons on improper fractions. Our question today, read by Martina, is... How many large squares of red fabric would Grace need if she wanted to make five star quilt patches? All right, so Grace is going to make five star quilt patches, similar to the ones that you see here. There are six point stars. This one here is called an Ohio star quilt, and oh. uh, it's a block. And she takes these pieces of material, which are obviously not to scale, and it takes her a certain amount of those to make five star quilt patches. Each half of this material can make one star. So she's going to make one star, two stars, another star, another star, and here's the last star, leaving her with a half of a piece of material left over that she's not going to use. And that creates five star blocks. So in other words, five halves equal two halves plus two halves plus one half. We can put this this way. We can put five over two because two over two equals one. So five over two equals one plus one plus one half. And another way to put this, five over two is the same thing as two and one half. So this is important to remember. This is an example of a mixed number. Question A asks us, how do you think Grace knew that 5 halves is between 2 and 3? Well, if you look at our diagram here, we decided that it's 2 and 1 half, and we know that 2 and 1 half is more than 2 because it's 2 and a half. On the other hand, we know that two and a half is not quite three because it's not three, it's two and a half, so it's almost three. So therefore, we know that five halves is between two and three because it's more than two, but less than three. Question B says, how does counting by halves help you show that five over two is equivalent to two and one half? Well, we can count halves and we can show how this will work one half and then another half added on is two halves and then three halves and four over two five over two now another way to represent this is a series of halves and what i've done here is half 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 and half these two halves make up a whole or two over two these two halves make up a whole two over two and that leaves us this one half here left over then if we bring that down another level two wholes is equal to two because this 2 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 2, that would be 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. That leaves us our half still left over. And we bring that down to the final level. That's 2 and 1 half. So counting by halves does prove that 5 over 2 is equal to 2 and a half. Question C is, why might Grace have figured out how many 2's are in 5 to get the whole number part of her mixed number? Well, the way she can do this is she can divide 5 by 2. And uh, 5, as you know, doesn't divide by 2 equally. We have a remainder. But 5 divided by 2 is 2 with a remainder of 1. And then that shows us that we have two groups of 2. In 5, there are two groups of 2. But there's one half group of 2 also in that 5. That's our remainder. And then finally, if we have two groups of two, that's two, and we have a half group of two, that's a half, so Grace could have figured it out like this. It's two and a half. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. Thanks to Martina for help, and thanks to Pearson, who is not helping so much. This is the St. John Fine Arts School MathCast with Mr. Burko, the end of Chapter 7, Lesson 3. Say bye, Pearson. Bye.